end phase, solar edge, Solark. Which is the best hybrid inverter system as we're going into 2024? I'm going to be answering that question and teaching you all about it in today's video. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge, and for the past 11 years I've been helping families achieve energy independence using clean renewable energy. Now if you're new to the Solar Surge channel, on Solar Surge we talk about solar panels, batteries, we provide product reviews and comparisons on pretty much any technology or component that goes into building a home renewable energy system. Now in today's video we're going to be talking about the top hybrid solar inverters as we're going into 2024. But before we get into the lineup, I'd like to explain what exactly is a hybrid inverter. Now, every solar power system, at least every one that's gonna be hooked up to your home, needs some type of an inverter. And what the inverter does is it converts the direct current or DC electricity that comes directly off of solar panels into alternating current or AC electricity, which is what our homes and what our appliances are wired for. So the inverter is a necessary component in any home solar power system. However, when we're talking about a hybrid inverter, what we mean is an inverter system or an inverter platform that allows you to run both grid tied, so you can take advantage of net metering and zeroing out your electric bill, but also has the ability to run off the grid for emergency backup purposes, or in some cases just run off the grid completely if you have no access to utility power. So hybrid inverters typically have, well, they have to have a battery hookup, right? Because the, the energy that's stored in your battery, that becomes your energy reserve and what allows you to run off the grid, particularly during evening hours, where there's not gonna be any energy coming in from sunlight. However, most hybrid inverters typically provide for some sort of a generator hookup as well. So in a worst case scenario, if your batteries are running down and there's not enough solar to recharge them, you have the option to fire up the generator to recharge your batteries as well. So in this video, I'm gonna be breaking down the top three hybrid inverter systems as we go into 2024. And with that, let's get going with number three. All right, coming in at number three on the list is the Solark 15K hybrid inverter. Now, one of the things I should say about the inverters on this year's lineup is that it really is more than just the inverter. It really is becoming more of, of, an, of an operating system or a platform on which you have a number of different uh, related components. So the inverter is sort of the main central component. Consider this like the main engine of the vehicle, but there's a number of other components that make up the ecosystem or the platform. Now, when we look at the Solark 15K, uh, the 15K refers to 15 kilowatts AC output power. And so that this inverter has a 15 kilowatts continuous power rating with surge power up to 24 kilowatts, which is adequate for whole house backup. Now, as I mentioned, most hybrid inverters, in addition to having a battery hookup, and the nice thing about the Solark is you can use it with just about any 48 volt battery system. You can use Solark's own battery or you can use any other popular battery brand uh, if you're looking for a lithium iron phosphate battery, you might try uh, Simplify, or you might use the, the EG4 batteries, very popular with do-it-yourselfers. Um, or you can assemble your own battery bank using traditional flooded or AGM batteries. So the Solark system does give you a lot of flexibility as far as which battery you can pair with it. Uh, but again, there's a number of other uh, components on the platform. So you have the Solark load controller, for example. Now, one of the things that you're gonna see frequently with hybrid systems or with battery backup solar systems is this concept of load control. And the idea here is um, if I'm running on backup power or if I'm running on battery power and I want to extend my battery running time, I may want to power off certain high draw but non-essential items in the house. Uh, think maybe your electric oven or your electric clothes dryer uh, or maybe even your electric water heater. If you're in a survival situation and you're really trying to stretch your running time, if you can deal without having the water heater running or without running the clothes dryer, that can help extend your battery running time. And so what a load controller will do is it, it will automatically disconnect those heavy loads based on certain parameters that you set. Uh, for example, let's say if the battery falls below 50%, drop the oven in the clothes dryer. That's a pretty typical configuration. 
And so with the Solark load controller, you can control up to 14 circuits automatically without you having to you know, flipping circuit breakers trying to manage the loads yourself. So that's a nice convenient here. Of course, Solark does have the generator hookup um, and they actually have a high capacity generator hookup, full 200 amps generator input. And they have four MPPTs as far as your solar input. So the Solark here, this is a central inverter system or sometimes called a DC coupled system. So you're gonna have DC power from the solar coming in here. You'll have a DC connection to the battery coming in here. And then you'll have AC input and output from the grid. So this can be export, uh, can export solar power to the grid. It can also pull solar power or pull uh, utility power in from the grid. And then of course provide secure power to the loads within the house. So this is the Solark 15K. Uh, it's a great place to start, especially for do-it-yourselfers or 100% off-gridders. Gives you flexibility on which batteries you can use with it. Gives you automatic load control, generator hookup, uh, and of course it is grid interactive. So if you wanna take advantage of net metering as well, the Solark 15K has got you covered. All right, coming in at number two on the list is the SolarEdge Home Hub Hybrid Inverter. Now, the Solar Edge is the market leading US residential inverter manufacturer. It is the most popular inverter system being installed in US homes today. And their version of the hybrid inverter is called the Home Hub. Now, the Home Hub is another DC coupled central inverter based system, meaning that you're gonna have DC power from the solar panels coming into the inverter. You'll also have a DC connection between the inverter and the battery and then it will invert and send AC power out to the grid or send secure AC power into the home. Now the Solar Edge Home Hub Inverter comes in several sizes, as small as 3.8 kilowatts all the way up to 11.4 kilowatts in terms of its rated AC output. So if you're looking for a true whole house solution, you're probably gonna to wanna to look at the two larger options, which would be the, the Home Hub 10,000 and the Home Hub 11400. Now, of course, to make this a true hybrid system, you have to connect battery storage, meaning that it'll have the ability to run independent of the grid or off the grid, as well as to be interactive with the grid. And so, of course, if you're using the Solar Edge Home Hub inverter, then you're gonna be typically pairing that with the Solar Edge home battery. Now, the Solar Edge home battery is a 10 kilowatt hour battery, but you can stack up to three batteries per inverter. So you can achieve larger storage by just adding more battery modules to a single inverter. However, I should say, although you're adding storage capacity, you're not adding power output capacity. So the power output of the inverter remains the same, whether you have one, two, or three battery modules connected to it. And again, like with some of the other solutions on the market, when you talk about the inverter, you're, you're really not just talking about the inverter, you're talking about the entire platform or the entire ecosystem that's gonna be running your home's energy system. And so on the Solar Edge platform, you're gonna be using the Solar Edge battery, you'll be using the Solar Edge monitoring app. And then of course, the platform also provides options for intelligent load control. So again, helps you ex extend that battery running time by powering off non-essential heavy loads. Um, and one of the new things that we've been covering this year is the advent of bi-directional EV charging. Now, Solar Edge has a bi-directional EV charger under development. Uh, if you haven't seen that video already, go back and watch the video that we did where we interviewed Chris Thompson, who gave us a demonstration of the Solar Edge bi-directional EV charger. But essentially what that allows you to do is uh, interface your electric vehicle to your solar uh, hybrid system and the electric vehicle essentially becomes another battery or another storage appliance that you can that you can use you can you can charge into it when you have excess solar available you can you can dump the excess solar into your vehicle uh, or under certain circumstances you can draw energy out of your vehicle battery to provide secure backup power in the home so go ahead and check out that video if you haven't seen it already but that's going to be one of the advantages of the solar edge platform is really being able to bring that electric vehicle into the mix of the hybrid system. Uh, of course, they do give the generator hookup option as well um, and all the other things that you're familiar with with Solar Edge on the monitoring app. So this is number two for this year's lineup. All right, and coming in at number one is the Enphase IQ8 microinverter system. Now, I know technically microinverters are not hybrid inverters, but what we're really talking about here is the platform. And so when we look at the Enphase IQ8 platform, the, the microinverter is the main building block. 
And the IQ8 is also the first generation of microinverters that do have that grid forming ability, meaning that even if the utility signal is lost, the IQ8 microinverters have the ability to form their own microgrid and provide secure power into the house, even if there is no battery present during daylight hours, as long as you have solar power coming in. Just a quick word from our sponsor, Savant Power and the Savant Energy Management System. If you're considering an investment in a solar plus storage system, then you're gonna to wanna to have maximum visibility and control of how much energy you're harvesting, how much energy you're storing, and how that energy is being distributed within the home. The new Savant Power System allows you to dynamically control which circuits are on and which circuits are off depending on battery state of charge, allowing you to extend your battery running time during a blackout. The system also includes an integrated electric vehicle charger, allowing you to charge directly from solar or from the grid or a combination of both. So if you'd like to learn more information, you can visit the Savant Power website or click the link in the description below so that you can get in touch with an installer right away. But when we look at the entire Enphase IQ platform, it's a lot more than just the microinverters. The microinverters, again, are the main building block, and you're gonna have one on each solar panel on the roof. They'll all come down to the combiner, which is then connected to the Enphase cloud so you can track and control everything on your app. But for a hybrid system, you're typically going to have battery storage as well. And so Enphase has their IQ line of batteries. Uh, the latest one as of this recording is the IQ Battery 5P. Uh, and that five represents five kilowatt hours of storage. So you can just add on additional battery units to increase your storage capacity. Now, unlike the previous two inverter systems that we talked about, the Enphase is an AC coupled uh, microinverter and battery system. And so whenever you add an additional battery unit, these are AC batteries. So whenever you add an additional battery unit to the system, not only are you increasing the overall storage capacity, but you're also increasing the instantaneous and the continuous power rating as well. So more batteries equals more storage and more power. Now, as of this recording, each Enphase IQ Battery 5P provides continuous power of 3.8 kilowatts with peak power or surge power of 5.7 kilowatts. So if you do a two battery system, you double those numbers. You do a four battery system, you quadruple those numbers. And, and frankly, with anything two batteries or more, it's adequate for a whole house backup. Now, like with some of the other systems we talked about, Enphase provides for a generator hookup option as well. And for those of you who are looking for maximum redundancy, we recommend to have a hybrid system with a generator hookup option. That way, if you're in a, a prolonged blackout or a prolonged grid down situation, maybe the weather's bad and, and the solar panels are not keeping up with recharging the batteries fast enough, you fire up the generator for a couple of hours, bring your batteries back full, and then you can go for running a couple more days off of battery power. Um, another thing that helps in this area, of course, is load control, right? And so Enphase has the IQ load controller as well. Again, the idea here is under certain, certain circumstances, you may want to disconnect certain non-essential heavy load items in your house. So for example, you're not wasting energy running the clothes dryer or trying to run the electric oven when we really would prefer to conserve that battery power to make sure that super essential items like your water pump and your refrigerator stay energized. Um, also, Enphase is developing a bi-directional EV charger. And so although they, they already have released their unidirectional EV charger where you can charge from solar or charge from the grid, the Enphase bi-directional EV charger allows you to plug the vehicle into the system and now the vehicle just becomes another battery, uh, another storage appliance that is part of your home hybrid inverter system. And so that's a great way for those of you who are looking for a way to achieve whole house backup. Maybe you don't wanna spend a whole lot on, on stationary home batteries. If you take advantage of the bi-directional EV charger, you can essentially use your electric vehicle's battery as a emergency backup battery for your home you know, when that might be needed. So as of this recording, Enphase, we're calling the number one hybrid inverter system. It is the most in popular inverter platform that we're using on our projects here at Solar Surge. Uh, and of course, if you're in the process of evaluating hybrid inverter options for your home, uh, if you need to get a quote of, for any of these options or any of the other leading options out there, uh, as always, you can feel free to reach out to us at the link below there, set up a quick call with one of our experts here, and we'd be happy to get some pricing and some information for you. 
Uh, folks, as always, if you're getting good value from the videos that you watch here on Solar Surge, make sure you give us a thumbs up uh, and go ahead and subscribe to the channel as well if you haven't done so already. That way, as we have the new videos coming out, it'll come up on your feed and you can stay up to date with all the latest product information. Well, folks, that pretty much does it for today's video. As always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon. All right. I hope you're getting some great value from today's video content. Now, if you would like to have your product or your business or technology featured on the Solar Surge channel, feel free to reach out to us at the link below so you can set up a call with our media team to talk about your marketing goals and how Solar Surge can help you get there. Solar Surge is the leading online community in the US residential solar and energy storage space. And so if you'd like to get your product, business, or technology in front of our audience, we can help you do that. Uh, again, feel free to reach out to our media team at the link below or email media at solarsurge.net.